Triathletes Tribe. These are my five shoes that I would recommend for those of you that are heel strikers. Uh, the first one here is the On Cloud Stratus. Now the reason why I say these are the best for heel strikers is because they are super cushioned. They use this honeycomb shaped system that allows for um, a much more spring compression action, action for the shoe. So it's kind of like having like a little little rebound spring, but when you're going down, it doesn't really feel like it. Um, and what they've done is like on the typical uh, on running shoe, which is uh, my number three pick, this one I do have, I've run in them for, uh, I guess over about nine, 10 months. Um, the cushion, the honeycomb is just one, one kind of like honeycomb, but if you go back up here, you'll see that this one has two, two honeycombs that really help to in, enhance the, the amount of cushioning, especially as a heel striker, you're putting so much more force onto the heel than you would for a midfoot or a forefoot striker. So um, this one is just, it's exceptionally cushioned and very um, supportive. It actually allows your foot to move a bit more than your typical uh, heel striking shoe. The second one I have here is the Under Armour HOVR Infinite, Infinite, Infinity. <laughs> um, it's the second best because it is a bit pricey. Now the on one above is, is, um, is pricey too, but this one is a bit pricey. But the good thing about this one is it has smart technology built into the shoe. It is super cushioned. Um, once again, this is meant for absolutely supple running. And the difference in this one and the on is that, on this one, is because uh, this one gives your foot a little bit more give uh, to move around. This one is a little bit stricter. It has um, quite a bit of restriction on how much your foot, your foot can flex uh, to supernate or pronate. Um, but again, a, a wonderful, wonderfully good shoe. And um, with the app, and you can see the reviews and see lots of people like them. Uh, the ones that I've used and um, and fully support are these on Cloudflow. Now, one thing I had to switch from these shoes to um, some Nike Freeze. My foot's a little bit different. I, I really need a lot of play when I'm running, so it didn't really meet all the marks for me, and it ended up having uh, a little bit of, of heel pain just because I couldn't move the heel as much. But for the majority of heel strikers, they like having stability in the in the heel of the foot, so this is a great option. Super cushioned, even with the one honeycomb, it's very, very cushioned for heel strikers, and lots of my friends who use them love them, and they're heel strikers, so I um, had to put this on the list, um, and I use them. Um, and uh, again, great reviews. Now, the Hoka, um, Hoka Ono One, they put, they put out a Hoka Bondi 6, and this is a great shoe. The oh, reason why I like this is because even though it's for a heel striker, it it also, even though it's very cushioned, it also has a has a very low rise from the forefoot to the heel. So you're not gonna get a lot of um, necessarily Achilles issues necessarily with this. Um, but they are super cushioned and are raved by pros. You'll, if you watch any races, there's lots of pros who, who use Locone and amateurs alike. Um, again, very, very cushioned. This is more just a preference. I still think the on ones are a bit, bit softer um, than the Hoka One Ones, but um, this is still a very, very good shoe. Again, price point is still high, but you're gonna get everything you want out of them. Um, and then last on my list are the Nike Joyride Run. Now I haven't tried these on, but I have felt them and had them in hand. And I really like the technology on it. This is, the inside of them are little beads that allow you to um, actually move and and as you as you move and, and compress the sole the beads will spread and allow for more comfort in the specific areas that you're pressing down on and they just are super cool looking now one thing about these is they do have a lot of um, arch support and they do not allow a lot of give either to the left to the right um, or supernate or pronate so, um, so these are these are very good shoes, and it really just comes down to with any of these shoes that I recommend, um, or any equipment I recommend, it comes down to what you prefer. So I I recommend trying them on, going to the store, doing a little jog in them if they allow you in the store, 
um, and just see how your foot feels. And a lot of times, a lot of experts will tell you, this is the best shoe for this, this is the best shoe for that. But in reality, it's all about how you feel when you run with it. And you kind of have to go off you know, trial and error. I've had probably 40 running shoes in my entire life, so in the 20, five years that I've been running. So it's it's just something you have to keep trying and, and every year just try something new. But anyway, I hope this has helped. And there you have it. I hope that helps you decide what shoes to buy uh, this next go round. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.